pick rates of two to two hundred units, two hundred to two fifty units per hour per man are probably the highest you can get. With this machine, it's actually shown that you can get pick rates in excess of a thousand and as high as fifteen hundred picks per hour. It can go anywhere. And when I say that, it means that you put down one side of your warehouse a row of pallets that are going to be picked. On this side, you have a row of empty pallets. You can take off one, two, three, four, whatever number of layers you want. Um, one customer starts off with six layers. On the first one, takes off, builds up, builds up, builds up. You can put a pallet in between if you wanted to, or if the product allows it, you can actually put a product on product. At the end of your picking cycle, you've got a row of pallets down here ready to be picked. And in the application I'm thinking about, uh, there's a, a ride-on powered pallet truck with long forks that will take four, four pallets in, 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 take it off to the dispatch area. The other major plus factor is that the operating aisle that you're creating in the middle is only two meters. That is quite an achievement. It's simplicity to work. You're seeing boxes here which are obviously got product in. I've actually done this demonstration with layers of yogurt pots. Basically, if it's in, a, if it's in an, out, an outer, it can be picked up. It's reasonably quick, as you'd appreciate to get the picking rates you're speaking about. You actually could take this outside if you needed to. Whether you do is another matter. Obviously, because the machine itself is an outdoor piece of kit. There's also one of the large organisation that delayers. So as you can take a layer off, you can actually see they split a pallet out for transporting purposes. Again, another use for it. The operation is very simple. It's a one lever operation. When it closes around the product, it doesn't squeeze it, it grips. It's pressure sensitive, the pads are. There's also two pad sizes, depending upon what you want to do. Very simple operation. We're getting a lot of interest now from the logistics market for obvious reasons. Does anybody here actually do layer picking? No. Fantastic. I have one UK customer at the moment that currently does layer picking in a totally manual format. He's now moving to new premises. He's doubling the size of the operation. He's taking no more operators on and he will do his entire function with four of these machines. Cost-wise, it doesn't take a, a genius to work out the savings that we're talking about. Going back on my previous comment when I said, is anybody looking at it? The answer was no. What I will say is we will obviously come and we'll do demonstrations on your site to prove the point. Sue, pick up the two. Pick the two.
Sorry, I'm in. Can you imagine how long it would take to collate that pallet manually? That's my presentation done. If you need any information, please give us a call. Perfect, maybe once more. Turn me from in the way. 